So back to the wireless network upgrade. Now we're on phase two, which is to remove the old decommissioned equipment, trace and test the existing wiring, and physically connect new equipment and ensure proper functionality. Once phase two is done, then there's going to be at least a 24 hour period before phase three and or phase four begins. That's to ensure that not only is the new equipment in service and working properly, but doesn't cause any other problems. So I have some of the tools of destruction. I have my little old electric screwdriver with a drill bit. That's the size of the little uh, wall anchor things. A hand driver, because you never use a power driver to drive screws. XJO81X. I have my network tester here, so we'll break that out a little later. But the first thing I need to do is measure between these two points and get a measurement of that so I can make a template. Uh, they made this really easy. There's like nothing that lines up nicely. It looks like it could be one and three quarter inch, but it's not quite that, so I'll have to fudge it around a little bit. Even the millimeters don't work nice. Not even four and a half, or centimeters, I should say. Not even four and a half. Not quite right. Close. But not quite. I think I'll go, actually, with the centimeters, because it's a lot easier to measure that way. It looks like almost four and a half. So I think that'll kind of work. I'll fudge it a little bit. So there was 45 millimeters, and then I fudged it back a little bit. So that works just about right. So now what I'll do is I'll cut out, you know, a nice little square out of this paper, and that is going to be my template. I have an absolute straight edge over here, so I can just line a level up to it just to get it close you know I mean it's not anything too big of a deal so I'm gonna cut that out uh, make it an official template and then that's gonna sit and wait for a bit until we go ahead and test the network cable which is gonna be next okay so there's the finished mounting template right there these are my two marks that I can drill through top edge I just sort of squared it out a bit and just cut that out roughly it doesn't have to be anything spectacular because we're only interested in that distance and as far as the height or where it goes on the wall depends on what it looks like where so now as far as testing the network I have my network tester comes in several pieces including a book and a 9 volt battery which I keep out of it so it doesn't leak inside Generally, if you keep it out of there, they're not going to leak on their own. They can, but it's unlikely. Uh, so I just leave it out of it, but in the case, and it fits, so it's nice. And, yeah, it's got juice. Should be all right. So this separates. Okay. And then you have, uh, I guess it can test RJ11 and RJ45, which is what we're interested in. RJ11 on that side, RJ45 there. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and G for ground. Uh, ground is not going to be used in this case. I guess that's a power off, on, and S I think is slow. Let me hook this in so you can see. This is a straight through cable. So if we turn it on, this is what we get. A bunch of flashy lights. And you'll notice that the ones light up together, the twos light up together, the threes light up together, etc. All the way down the line, and no ground. We can put it on slow, which is where I run it. And just like that, so we know that this cable is good. So now, this end will go at one end, that end will go at the other, and then we will know for sure... That our cable is good provided we see the same pattern so the next thing you're going to say but jay i don't have a network tester how do i make sure the cable is good 
Well, what you do is you just do the old, in my country, we just stick wires together to see if it makes spark. So just do that. All right, it's time to decommission the old equipment. This has been, well, decommissioned. We're going to pretty much uninstall it now. It's been decommissioned for years. It's just been sitting here. Uh, you'll see there's a black bracket that's on the wall. Will you believe that this actually fucking came with a mounting bracket? That's how high-end they used to make shit. Such a shame that it died. Ah, oh, damn, I love this thing. It just, it just worked. You just plugged it the fuck in and it worked. But let's see. I don't remember how... Okay, that's a start. Maybe it just fits... Yes, there we are. Oh, see, isn't that nice? Just like that. So now I'm going to pull the cables out of here. One is a power cable, but the other end of it is disconnected. See, look how simple. Two connections and a reset button. That's it. Power and Ethernet. That's all you get. Okay, so I have all my cables together just so they don't disappear. They're just rubber banded together. <coughs> Sharky 626. Uh, this was the old power cable for the old access point. That can be fished out and doesn't need to be here anymore because the new one is power over Ethernet and that is the uh, power connector for the Amazon Echo that's here. I've mounted my template and now I've leveled it. You can see the old holes there and there. It's about where I want it. I'm going to just put the uh, the white thing back up here just to get an idea. That's going to mount about like that. That looks pretty damn good right like that. So I think we'll go with that. That's fine. doesn't matter if it's up or down, left or right a little bit. No big deal. So that's all good. I'm going to drill those out and put the wall anchors in. Okay, screws and wall anchors are in. Now we have the cable and we need to test it. I need to trace it. I don't know which one it is in the basement. So here's a way to tell. One, it's beige. So we're going to remember that. And then we're going to look on the cable and just sort of, because they all could say the same thing. ETL 3P verified, but take better note of the actual like font and printing of it because that'll give us a good idea. So now I'm going to hook the network tester up here and then I'll go down to the basement and see if I can trace it. Okay, so here's all the cables that I showed in the previous video and we have a beige cable. So that's definitely the one and that goes over here and now it kind of gets a little lost because there's another whitish beigeish cable but like I said this has that printing and I remember what it looks like so that all goes here and goes through here and goes through here now it's not the red and blue that connect because I didn't have a long enough cable and you can actually see grayish beigeish wires the bottom one is not it but the one right above it is. Let me see if I can zoom in just to show you. This is basic stuff. There it is, that same printing. And the one above that is a telephone line. Now, that really doesn't make a lick of difference because after that it goes through here. And now in this plenum, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Maybe we can spot it here somewhere. Uh, probably this one. This one doesn't have any... Oh, it does. This is the one. That should be the one. So now that goes and makes its way through all this shit. And this is my network cabling. Your server room looks... Wait a minute, nobody else has that looks uh, the same. Oh, and today the light works. That's good. Uh, so in full disclosure, uh, I've traced this out and I believe this is the wire. 
I think this is the one. There's another one here. This could be it. So we'll test that and then we'll test that. And it's one of the, there's only like two or three beige cables here. So we'll find it easy. The cable that was in the top port right there was the one I had suspected. And that indeed was it. So I have my network tester plugged in. I'm seeing connectivity on all the lines. And uh, upstairs I have a helper whiff. And she's going to read out to make sure that we have the same numbers. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. We're good. That cable is good. Ta-da! There it is. Cable is connected to the WAN, to the uh, pardon me the LAN port. This is as tight as it gets because China. I could put a shim in there, but it's it's fine how it is. It's just going to sit there. It's actually perfectly level as well, which is kind of nice. And it's you know it's not obtrusive. It's just right there, and that's it. Remember that this is an in-place upgrade. So that means that the existing infrastructure of the network is not being changed. This is an addition to it temporarily. And tonight, when we go on all of our devices and that, we're going to switch over to the new network right over here and test that out. If there's any problem, we can always fall back to the old network until that gets decommissioned and repurposed. So now that we have our single connection here, which is all we need, we're going to go back downstairs and hook up the PoE injector to send power and data to this, and then we'll ensure that it's online. Always put your tools back when you're done using them. If you use test equipment, remove its batteries. I'm not saying this to sound like your mother or sound like your father when you're a little twerp. I'm saying this because I had to learn all this shit the hard way. I heard it from my dad. I heard it from my mom. I heard all this shit and I'm like, yeah, fuck you too. Yeah, you're my parents. You don't know shit. I know better than you even though I'm 12. So now that we have that done and I turned to be an old man, I learned why they said that. Because now what we're going to do, we're going to put the cable in, we're going to put the tester in, and we're going to stick the battery right in there. Now we can close it up. Whoopsie, it shit the battery out. That's okay. And we'll just get it right over the edge. There it is. And now he's going to go back in his box. I'm anal about it, so I put the logo face in the front just because that's how it should be. I don't know why, but that all goes back, and I know for next time that my tester is going to be exactly where I'm going to put it, where I leave it, and I'll know where to find it, and that's how I found it this time. Isn't that convenient? So we're going to get over to the networking stuff where this lives in a bit, but in the meantime, we're going to put these tools back in this box. Just a mess of tools that I use a lot. There's a bunch of drill bits in there. They fell out of the thing. I just dig around when I need one. It's not often I do. A Phillips screwdriver I keep in front. And now I know that if I ever need that size drill bit or I ever need that Phillips screwdriver, it's here. And I don't have to go running all around to try to find it. This thing goes back there. See that little thing sticking out there? That's the bit. It just lives there. I don't know. I put it there one day. It stayed there. And that's where it lives now. I always know that if I need that, it's there. I have a million little twist ties, like bread ties, from China. And this one stripped its lid. Har, har, har. Piece of the shit fell off. It's fine. It's just there. I'm guessing that's long enough. I'll fix it if not. And power. Now we got a problem. I need this thing to be on battery backup. And these are the ports that have backup. They're filled. That's not good. So I got this thing 
and I was going to use it. It would plug in that way because it's the outlets are flipped 180 degrees up here. So I was going to plug that in, but then it gets a little hokey in that. And it so turns out that I happen to have one of these guys. It plugs in, gives me my outlet back, and there's another one. Perfect. So there it is plugged in. And here's my new lead, which I'll fold down over that way and tuck everything in back there. I'm going to get up on a little step ladder kind of deal and get back here and hook in. I know this is the cable. Yeah, it looks snackered. It just, it is. But it works, so whatever. It's what's there and it beats running a new cable. So that's all plugged in. And now we're going to go ahead and get the new stuff hooked in. It's a matter of plugging in an electrical cord, plugging one end into here, and this goes back to the kitchen, and it's done. This light always thermals out. It just does. All right, so our power is here. That's just focaccia like that. This didn't want to stay, so I just put a little piece of double stick tape in there just to hold it, kind of doesn't need to be straight or perfect. Here's the cable that goes to the kitchen. The black is going to the LAN port. This is the PoE port plugged into the same port on the switch that it was. And uh, we have, I thought it was blue. It's more of like a, almost a whitish bluish. So that's all there. Everything here is good. I'm just going to straighten up back here a bit because some of my tools fell in that and I'm going to put my tester back back there and then we'll give this a shot. All right, here's a laptop. Netgear, Wi-Fi plug, direct, Netgear extension. Come fast! There it is! I love that kind. So it's connecting. It's connected. And we can launch a browser. So that'll be 10 minutes for it to launch eventually. That'll be nice. There we go. Hmm, where should we go today? Hmm, well, apparently nowhere yet. It's not, uh, there he goes. Maybe YouTube? Ooh. I thought this was calm fast. Actually, the laptop is slow, but that's all right. It's there. We'll go to our descriptions. That's all good. Oh, got a couple blanks. So it's there and it works. Beautiful. Oh, and look who posted. A certain Jesse Ladner. Our cable's out again. Spelled improperly. Well, my heaters have been working great. Maybe a little tired. But, yes, they're here. This is why I can't put the blankie the right way on the bed. Because they love it this way. They have a nice berm here to protect them against possible and things and stuff and they're just cute and and snoozy look he's even got his claws in there look at the ferociousness yes oh a new china tablet okay uh let's go to the wifi now it's searching netgear extension Netgear is in the basement and Wi-Fi plug. So here's where it gets fun because even Netgear extension, which is only one floor down, is not full signal. It goes between three-quarter and full like that. Comfast is the new one, and that's real strong right there. But there's also a Comfast... 5G. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. There's also a Comfast 5G, but uh, I don't care. Uh, my interwebs isn't that fast. 
I could connect to it, see how it is, but I know that the rest is good here, and that's a lot better than it used to. I also want to get another thing. Oh, so like I was saying about the Wi-Fi plug, you see how it's down like three quarters. That doesn't mean that the IoT devices that are up here have as good of an antenna as this does. I'm going to go get my old tablet and boot that thing up because that had a problem even with this Netgear extension, which is just a floor down. Well, whoa, big. Look how it's dwarfed. Seven inch, I'll tell you, there's just something about the size of these seven inch tablets. They just fit your damn hand nice. Look at that. That's awesome. So this thing does uh, email now and can play music and the shoutcast. So, let's see. Uh, settings. It's also like slow. Like really slow. Like you never seen shit this slow before in your life. Okay. Netgear extension, not bad. And Comfast is reading about the same, which just vanished. Which, okay, what's going on? Everything's jumping around. This does not have the greatest antenna in it. And that's why you're seeing not the greatest signal, even though we're up here. It's still a decent signal for up here. But, you know, things with better antennas, they, they've... Things have gone a long way since this was new. So... We're having pretty good success with the new access point. Great. Psst. What? Weren't you, weren't you on the bed? Did you have to come here because Daddy was here? And there's sun. Look at the sun on the sun. Damn it. Ugh. So that's going to do it for phase two of the wireless network upgrade. We have removed the old decommissioned equipment. We traced and tested the existing wiring. We physically connected the new equipment, mounted it, and ensured proper functionality. Phase three is going to be reconfiguring the existing infrastructure to use different network the guest network, which is for the Wi-Fi plugs. Now, a lot of shit is riding on this guest network. And when I go and pull that, then we're going to have a problem because everything in the IoT world is going down at the same time. But because it's IoT, it's not a big deal. And those can be brought back up one at a time using a stupid app on a mobile device because that's how you have to set these fucking things up. But not a big deal. The guest network is coming from the original router, which is down here, so actually there really isn't much in the way of downtime because that guest network is going to stay up and running. I'm just going to be switching everything over to the new or newly configured guest network which is going to be using that little china square and that way everything will have a better shot at reaching and uh, will work better so there actually really isn't any downtime whatsoever just one device at a time for planned downtime so so far everything has gone entirely according to plan exactly as it's supposed to and I'm very happy thus far so that's it um, the fourth part, the fourth phase, is reconfiguring the Internet of Things. Um, the voice assistants, smart plugs, and lamps, and all that great shit. So really, this is going to be a quick one. Uh, just setting up that, resetting up that little China Square to broadcast another network. And then we're going to reconnect the IoT to that new network. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.